Good morning. Divi is one of the most popular WordPress themes out there with 881,346 empowered web design professionals and business owners using it. And last week they made a major announcement. Today, I'm gonna to talk about some of the big Divi updates that we have been working on. This is gonna be a long video. Well, actually it's gonna be a short video. So I'm gonna try and boil down exactly what they're doing, give you my thoughts on the rationale behind why they're doing it. And also answer the big question, is Divi dying? Let's start this video with some stats. So what we've got here is a graph that shows the Divi usage statistics over a period from 2014. And you can see right down here at the start that we have this growth pattern that just goes on for years and years and years. We've got along this axis here, we've got the years you can see. But we get to 2020 and suddenly the growth plateaus here. Now remember 2020 was kind of pandemic. So a lot of plugins and themes actually saw enormous growth during this period. So it's really strange that Divi has plateaued. Now I think there's a number of reasons for this and I think this is driving a lot of their decision making. Right, let's just get to the main points and speed this up. Speed, performance, and scalability are huge focuses for Divi 5.0. Both the snappiness of the visual builder, the speed of front-end page loads, and the ability for Divi to handle very large and complex designs. Recreating the visual builder gives us the opportunity to make fundamental changes to how interactions work and the way the application renders updates as you design your website. Speeding things up from every... So speed and performance will get better. That's a common complaint about Divi, the speed, both the speed of the editor and speed of the website. But that's not the most interesting thing. Probably the most exciting part of Divi 5.0 is a paradigm shift in the way we are approaching its development and the way that change will open up so many new possibilities for third-party developers. The new Divi Builder will be completely customizable and developers will be able to use the Divi API to create anything they want. Not just new and amazing modules, but new types of settings and completely new features of their own. Right, so there's going to be a brand new API, which is going to be great for developers that are developing on top of Divi. But that's not the most interesting thing just like WordPress has. Developers familiar with creating blocks for WordPress will find a lot of similarities in the Divi Module API, allowing WordPress blocks to be more easily adapted to Divi and for WordPress developers to more quickly build Divi modules. We're building this new version of Divi to work in harmony with WordPress and the community. And that's the most interesting thing. Let's repeat that. Developers familiar with creating blocks for WordPress will find a lot of similarities in the Divi Module API, allowing WordPress blocks to be more easily adapted to Divi and for WordPress developers to more quickly build Divi modules. We're building this new version of Divi to work in harmony with WordPress and the community. So this really is the key for me. How closely will it be aligned to Gutenberg? Here's an article that WP Tavern published last week. And this is what Divi say about block themes. On the block theme front, as a part of Divi 5, we are also transitioning into a block-based theme. And since Divi 5 is actually internally built using the same packages that Gutenberg itself is composed of, Divi 5 has a lot of compatibility built in from the core. We are working diligently to push Divi 5 for maximum Gutenberg block compatibility with the goal being that you'll be able to use Gutenberg blocks inside of your Divi built pages and then apply all of the Divi design options you love to the otherwise plain Gutenberg blocks you have installed. This means you won't have to choose between Divi or Gutenberg and rather you get Divi and Gutenberg. Of course, there are some major, major questions on how tightly Divi will actually be aligned with Gutenberg, and we'll have to wait and see what those are. <laughs> but I personally can see a space in the market for a live front-end drag-and-drop builder for Gutenberg. But even if Divi 5 is executed perfectly, there's a big question about whether it'll be enough to arrest the slide in the growth. Especially when you throw into the mix that the beta of Divi 5 isn't planned until 2023, and my assumption is the general release won't be until 2024, and who knows where Gutenberg innovation would have taken it by then. So for me, there are really big questions about whether this strategy will work for Divi, but I really see there's no alternative for them. But let me know what you think. Do you think Divi is dying? Let me know in the comments below. Do you think this heralds the end of Divi, or do you think this heralds a brand new bright beginning for them? I'd love to hear your thoughts and get a general consensus on what people are thinking out there. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you can hit that like button, it'd be amazing because it really, 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 really helps spread the word of the channel. And it helps spread this video around so more people will actually get to see it. And also every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. If you want to see more videos about WordPress, Gutenberg and Divi, hit that subscribe button now and you'll be notified every time I release a new one. Keep well and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.